Good morning, Diana, and welcome to FYI, when in fact Diana and around the world, we're coming to you here live on social media. I know we're featuring on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and the likes. And this is my inaugural appearance with my brother, comrade, and friend, Sherrod Duncan, the famous Sherrod Duncan. And it's a privilege to be in your company for this morning's FYI. I see our comment section is lighting up already. Beatrice Selby, I hope I got that right. Tommy Gibbs, and of course we are reading the beautiful Juretta Fernandez who will join us. Oh, really Tommy. Good morning, guys. Oh, really My inaugural appearance. <laughs> good, good morning, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That. Good morning, folks. A very good morning. We're privileged to have Danish uh, on the set this morning. Tremendously, tremendously privileged to have him. Tommy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Folks, share the live. A smash that emoji button because we hope that we get good reception this morning. Facebook had some issue uh, last week because somebody was telling me the same thing happened with Mark Bench Cup program. Oh, okay, okay. Somebody through the program or is them boys. Yeah. Then the program was great. <laughs> I know the topic that we were in this. I think it's them. I think it's them. I think it's them. They're really enough to do something like that. I think it's them. I have I have no um I have no um no hesitation, right? I, I will come to them. I think it's a young boy. He's confident. Kanish, welcome. How are you doing? I am good. I'm good. You know, I'm very, very good. I mean, of course, there is a lot of work that we are doing, which is Correct. very, very good. Correct. Correct. And I think uh, our work is paying off. People are recognizing how much they miss the AP and UFC. Correct. Every time I talk to comrades across this country, I get that sense of. Uh, that feeling that you know what they, they really want the coalition mm -hmm. not because they have this installed regime that they're comparing with us and they're taking into account the factors that are there which is for example the amount of money that the PDP now has at their disposal versus how they are dispo how they are getting it down to our ordinary citizens and in some case our ordinary citizens are not getting anything and they recognize that you know what the AP and the AFC had their interests at heart and they're calling for us to return but outside of that i have personally been doing good family and family wise and everything is going well yes i am a bit um taken aback by the fact that i'm suspended like you uh of course without due process and there are implications to that but i am not going to allow that to hold me down or keep me back i have a work to do and i have to do it to the best of my ability like you Excellent. That is tremendously important. And we keep fighting forward. Yes. Because there is so much, um, you know, we've got to do for the Guyanese people. Bring incredible valuable information, uh, helping them mitigate some of the issues and challenges of the day. And there are many, there are many. You know, you know Sheldon, I live by this motto. And it is something that I learned in UG, right when I was alongside you at the University of Guyana there, that a good leader is a great server. Mm -hmm. So regardless mm -hmm. of the situation, regardless of the space and the time that is at your disposal, once you can understand that as a leader you ought to be a great servant, mm -hmm. nothing will stop you or derail you from progressing onwards as a servant to the people. And when you help these people, it feels so good. It feels so good in your blood. Yeah, yeah. we are going to switch things up so that you can come in. Can you go to the middle? You're going to be the um, you're going to be the to the hamburger until the sign this morning. You're going to be the meat. Go ahead, Kalish. You are saying. I don't know when that is that next to Jared because it's a ah, ah. we never had a proper public accounts committee. You know, this is my public accounts committee colleague. You know, the the, the whole thing is is that I don't even think um here's any emergency in part of everybody else. Get the board the well, the public <laughs> accounts committee is very, very important, at least this particular public accounts committee, because you see the haphazard manner and the abuse of the People's Progressive Party and how they are spending the taxpayers' money. But let's hope that there is some change in the dynamics. You're looking good, Ganesh. I know, I know, I know. As long as we see each other, as long as we see each other, I know, I know. Both of us. What's going on? What's going I'm on? I'm good, I'm good. I can't complain. Strangely, this feels like UG all over again. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I'm about to go into this conversation. <laughs> but I don't know why Sharon jumped the granite. I don't know why Sharon has a yellow cup and I don't have a green <laughs> one. I should have had a green cup. We can get a green cup. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah, but good to have Danish on set this morning. Tremendously grateful to have Danish on set. And I think we are here. <laughs> I think Hi we are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to be here. What's good to be Pamela. Good to be here with all of you. With lovely ladies. These and gentlemen, I see Sheila Boy trying to say, no, no entering a late day. Good morning. The directors are shining, both of us. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah, it, is, happy. it is very, 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 very useful. <laughs> very, very useful. It's good to be in your company. It brings back a lot of memories from back in the yes. back in the days. The university again. We're all started together. We're all started. I, I actually want persons to actually get a good look at it, you know, because um, that that's basically what it is, you know. Revolutionaries. Guys, I have no idea. People think we just wake up and have From one day. time to another. Yeah, that was way back when, 2007, 8, 9. Yeah, those wow, days. Those days. One guy was skinny as ever. <laughs> <laughs> many years ago. <laughs> it's really many years ago. Very many years ago. I, was three years. I, remember, I remember there was a particular time when. Lawrence Carrington was the vice chancellor of the University of Guyana, and Sheryl Duncan was the president of the student body. Mm. And I was a member of his executive. Mm. And for some reason or the other, something went wrong. We had to lock down the lock down the um, the, the campus. Civil disobedience. The civil disobedience. And Sheryl Sheryl was at the front. Sheryl was at the front. The rain was pouring. Like yeah. Michael Young, yeah. Was, Michael Young was the, was the uh, journalist there. And we oh, my girl was a journalist? I tell you. My girl was a journalist. And Sherrod like wanted, <laughs> wanted to go and lock the gate, put a padlock on it. Sherrod said, listen, if you're going to lock me up a little bit. Yes, we were prepared that morning. And he went and he locked the gate. We were prepared that morning. I took the two by <laughs> and nailed it across the vice chancellor's door. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the day. Yeah, was you the think day. that they start now? No, 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 no. It's a long, long time, time. It's good long time, 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 long time ago. Long, long time we started. We all competed against each other in the first day and for this. Each of us being Believe it or not. Student body. Believe it or not. That, that, that we went up there vigorously contending. And today we're sitting at the same table. Yeah, believe it or not. I never really see everyone on campus, though. <laughs> He was at the I As the region three member of parliament, I believe I ought to set the record. Tell us, tell us, tell us. Okay. That university what is not or was not located at iFlot. It was actually a zinc up blue building right opposite Kashi Dam. Which is the place where you cremate the dead? <laughs> There's a right opposite there. There is you not a place. <laughs> people, people thought it was Iflot because everybody wanted to know where the hell is the university? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it the University of Iflot? And that's how the Iflot came mm -hmm. into me. Mm -hmm. But Iflot, Iflot has distinguished men and women who actually studied and got their degrees and PhDs and brought out people in society that are contributing well to our society so just not to bring down the name Eiffel. Eiffel is a region three village and I feel for my region. Uh, uh, uh. So we so understand now because this school is opposite this this, uh, with this place where they committed dead, why everyone gets up thinking about doing life in the very broad and so on. <laughs> you know, it's those deep things <laughs> in there. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. But well, it's good to be here. It's good to have you. It's been a long time coming, Danish. I know that. I, been remember, I, I, I remember Juretta sent me a message saying that if you don't come on this program, I mm -hmm. will never speak to you again. Good, so, good, good. That was the inspiration. It's good to see that you value her friendship <laughs> and <laughs> you make yourself useful. <laughs> but good to have you here. Yeah, yeah. Quite yeah. yeah. well, a few things to discuss this morning um, in the morning papers. We're going to get you quick. Um, uh, Danish is going to run off a little bit before the show ends. But that's the kind of person he is. You know, he, he runs off. He had the medication in the morning. <laughs> he, he runs off, folks. He runs off. So we're going to get a couple of things. Yeah. Yeah, the first thing you want to look at is a decomposed body of a linen businessman found, you know, 75 year old businessman. Oh, there's that? Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's absolutely crazy. But there, Mackenzie Linden, and his body was discovered, you know, and that person has been identified as Vincent Harry. Yeah. Up to wow. the drive. Yeah. You know, it, it's just so. It, it's a it's a whole sad situation. Yeah. To see yeah. like that. Fast and furious, and folks, as Linda, you're coming out of a, a very uh, a very um a very 
uh, what do you call it? Melancholy weekend, you know, the young lady drunk there at Karakara Creek, uh, 15 years old, uh, Miss Graves, and then Miss Two, and the small, tightly knit 20. It's always sad when you have to get these kind of news because they're, they're, they're loved ones to people mm -hmm. and life matters. Eh? And on that same vein, I want to say that um, I was informed last night also mm -hmm. that uh, our colleague, member of parliament from the opposite side, Priya Manichan, mm -hmm. lost her father. So I want to extend condolences to her and her two other siblings. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's sad when people lose close persons yeah. your father especially a mother yeah so, and I, I always am of the opinion that, and I, I i believe i'm right that life is a is a wonderful lie mm -hmm. and death is a painful truth mm -hmm. and i also from my religious teachings believe that we are only here for a short while and we must make an impact positively on the lives of those to come and leave a mark where our names can be spoken of greatly mm -hmm. as we transition into the great beyond whether we believe in hinduism islam christianity or whichever faith mm -hmm. but wherever we go after life here on mm -hmm. this uh what i would say a mundane world we must always ensure that we leave our, our footprint in the sand and it must be so positive and impactful for the generations to come our names must live on yeah. And I know Sharon Duncan's name will live on because I don't think anybody else could. Our do name it. will live on. I don't think anybody <laughs> else could do in the ring the way yeah. you do. It. But you know, uh, really and truly, our condolences to Prima yeah. Chan and her family. Uh, can be a easy time for them. Our condolences. Yeah. Yeah. Minister. Sincere condolences to yeah. myself also. Where are you doing? No, it, it, those things are really, really sad, and I, I have to say that um, I we really, really empathize in this time. Yeah, sad indeed. At the end of it, I always say, Mr. Kubit, I always say, when it comes to things like that, that takes precedence over everything. Politics go takes a backseat. Always when it comes to people's families and stuff like that. So, I send their condolences yeah. to Priya and her entire family. It is in here this sad time, and I hope that we are keeping strong and together. You know? And you know, Cheryl, if I may go deeper into this discussion, when it comes to not only federalism death of loved ones, but when it comes to health issues and so on, I, I hope that Guyanese politicians can recognize that there ought to not be any political line there. Yeah. They, they, the politics must take a back seat when it comes to those important um, issues that are supposed to, you're supposed to show camaraderie there. And supposed to show you the human be. aspect yeah. of yourself yeah. and put aside the politics um, for once. And at least I, I remember in many people don't know this. Uh, um, I think it was two budgets ago. I was not feeling well, you know. And well, I did not announce it to anybody. I calmly walked out of the of the um, well. The chief with knew Christopher Jones knew, and I was sent away with an ambulance unknown to many people. Mm -hmm and came back. Uh, my colleagues knew, but, but nobody from the other side, because I wasn't sure how they would have reacted mm -hmm. to it and how they would have treated such an incident. But I would love to see our politics mature in such a way where we don't go down into the gutters and speak ill of people personally and their self-being or even their family members mm -hmm. and so on. We must stick to the issues and deal with it from an issue perspective. But sometimes we have people who push the button and cause reactionary measures to take. That's, a, that's a mature kind of politics. Yeah. That's, that's needed. A mature kind of politics. Yeah. Important points, important points. But, you know, as guys as we move forward this morning, you know, women are accused of being to smoke cocaine in religious items, granted bail. And this is particularly if you saw around there, right? You would remember her TikTok sensation. Um, they're 23 year old and she was arrested at some time back. <laughs> Apparently she is now, only yesterday she was actually granted bail of $350,000. Wow. Know, she was 23 years old. They're on social media. There were so, so many videos going around with her going viral and so. And then interesting. this whole interesting. big issue with her being busted with um, with this whole bit to smuggle cocaine in religious items, mm -hmm. you know. To, to actually, nothing sacred in the I don't think it's a bust, but more like some people do it on Bradley, yeah. Yeah, nothing is sacred. Like I think she was shipping it or something of that nature, if I remember yeah. correctly. But um, she's granted bail. I have to say that always, that young people, 
just don't get yourself involved in things like this. It's always that you would hear as a fall person for real shipments to go through and all of that has never worked it because like she was actually making a good impression, a good name for herself, making a mark there. And you see, you see, you see that comment there good. that Lyndon Jones made when President Granger announced his illness. The PVP politicians were very cruel in their utterances. That is actually true, absolutely true, you know. And and you know, to this day, to this day, the sad reality is that we knew during that campaign period of 2020 elections, because of President Granger and his illness, he could not have gone into the crowd and mingle as much as one yeah, I had that discussion. And there were, of course, cardboard images of him indeed yeah. placed around these places. But I still hear Ashley Singh, for example, in the National Assembly, saying you're a cardboard leader. You're but, a cardboard but, leader. But cardboard That's colors are a natural part of politics. Yeah, but, but it just goes to show how yeah. low he has taken it. Yeah. And that is the, it's the, those kind of behaviors is what um, really upsets me because you make reference to a situation when you knew mm -hmm. and you still know that that was the reason behind it had to do with the the man and his illness. Yeah. And you don't do things like that. You don't do things like that. I don't support it. But, but you know, in the larger sense, they would never eclipse that kind of leadership, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because that is real leadership, putting it, putting people first. Um, in spite of the sickness, there was exactly. there, David Granger out there every day, marshalling the forces and trudging on and never making a big fuss about it. Yeah, you know, it's sad, it's sad. But we have to, we have to mature our politics. Yeah, very have. much so. Very much so. That, that, that's an important point because I did see a lot of conversation being around that, that whole thing with cardboard, you know, and I, and I, and I said to him, I said, I had this conversation with someone and I said, if the current leader of the country was sick with cancer, then it would have been a completely different... Yeah. It's, always, it's also a different standard for, yeah, for the PVP. If, if he it's was sick with cancer, do you think he would have been able to do what he does in the manner that he does it, he would not have been able to do it then everyone then they would have been shouting for compassion and all yeah but, but i i i do not that. so it is it, 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 it's something important for people to remember this is not it, 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 it's it was basically inhumane of anyone to actually try to make that 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 vastly comparison but you know that was ill you know sheridan Juretta, granger's yeah. illness or granger's sickness non-hodgkin lymphoma did not derail him from treating Guyanese equally. Yeah. When you look at the programs that were undertaken mm -hmm. by the Granger administration in the field of health delivery, in the field of education delivery, agriculture, in the field of agriculture, health, education, and infrastructure, there were programs that catered for the masses and across the board. I always make reference to Region 3 because I was there at the time, where there are villages that are predominant PPP strongholds, like one and Wakenham, for example. It was the AP and UAFC that made like one and Wakenham understand, feel, and see mm. what is asphaltic concrete yeah. road. Yeah. Yeah. It was the AP yeah. and UAFC that made like one and Wakenham, Wakenham see, feel, and understand what are street lights on on the, on the lantern poles it was the ap and uafc that made zealot sugar welfare scheme a predominant ppp area understand feel and see what is asphaltic concrete road what is street lighting what is electricity and what is portable water yeah they never had it and yeah. the ppp was there for 23 but years i think i think you said it best and, and and when you look at the 23 years that the ppp was in office compared to that five that the coalition had there was no oil resource available. Yeah. Sorry, there was no abundance yeah. of money mm -hmm. coming in. Mm -hmm. But then you see that there is a great difference in how AP and UAFC handled their five year in terms of bringing resources to the people. And equitably. Equitably. Yeah. And equitable yeah. distribution. I, I was making this point the other day to a PPP person that called me. And the PPP person had the audacity to say, Ganesh, jump ship jump ship we need you on this side i asked him if i'm a candle and the point i'm making is that he said he doesn't see any infrastructure that can positively define the ap and uafc he has made a particle and i said to him that if he looks at it's the billions of dollars that was nine. spent on the real that was spent on the riprap to protect our coastline 
if he looks at the billions of dollars that were spent there, then he would understand why now you are coming inland to do all that you have to do and spend money. Yeah. Because if you don't protect that coastland, if you don't, billions of dollars. Yeah, to but, but, but yeah, Galish, in addition to that, too, in addition to that, you go to that. No, that was, 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 that Correct. Every single thing you but do. But the takeaway is, the, the take is, is a mature politics. Yes. That is that's absolutely needed, as we see. Look, you see that agri thing that they're running about all over the place with that agri expo mm -hmm. and what's that? David Granger and his team, they brought out the RACE, mm -hmm. yeah. Regional Agricultural and Commercial yeah. Exhibition that were held across this country in every region. And what was the reason? And the PPP that? told the folks to stay away from it. Yeah. yeah, the PPP told us to stay away from it. But what was the essence about that? We were making the small man, the ordinary man, the real man. Correct. So Correct. you could have brought your produce from Bubu back down. Mm. Or you could have come out all the way from the land, the Bali or Monkey Hole or wherever, mm -hmm. in the Esquivel River. Mm -hmm. And you could have come to a, a marketplace, you could have come to an exhibition and show off your product. Yeah. But when you centralize it the way they're centralizing it, you're only talking about the rich getting richer. And then you talk about that's the price for us. All the two point five three million dollar for you know a little space to showcase yeah. the small yeah, man yeah, can yeah. get in the attack. Go well, ahead, Jita. We know we got a little time with Ganesh, we gotta utilize him well this morning. Yes. We, yes. we definitely have to utilize him well and, and as I think about the PPP legacy um, as Boris is the coalition legacy driver of ambulance with chicken fire. Oh wow, this 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 this, this is an interesting one. This is interesting yeah. one because everybody knows that there are intellectual authors behind this. The devil is a small man. Yeah. The driver fired no charges laid anywhere as yet. Yeah, the because it's small, man. After an internal investigation was said to have been done. So. And all of these things, there's always been intellectual art over the back yeah. and don't get to trouble, you know. And the small man suffers. I always say, you know, don't take set up, none of these people just don't take set up. When they call you to do these things, you know that you are the former. Yeah, I saw, I saw Sabah says, the police involved in police, the hospital administrators, have to be involved in some way, and of course, those persons actually doing this smuggling from from um, across the border are involved. It's a big, it's a big conspiracy here, but a small man. Yes. But, no, he, he, but listen, he can choose to speak, or he can choose to shut up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if he chooses to shut up, then he just will go as down as said. another number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if yeah. the people out there who are being disenfranchised and targeted choose to stay silent on it then they're equally complicit in the state of our country yeah. and that's why i always say to people they must speak up and speak out mm -hmm. and be bold enough to, to to deal with the situation frontingly we cannot allow a government of this nature to pull us down we cannot allow a government of this nature to believe that they are large and in charge we empower them as people and we must show them that we have, can decide whether they stay there or not. And we have decided they're not staying there. decided they should yeah, not stay there. Yeah, yeah but uh, this is very Causal important. conviction. Correct. And, and as we go forward, you know, this is a very important topic. I know particularly for all three of us. The government proposing division of West Demerara for their electoral districts. And I know Ghana is going to have a lot to say. I wonder why. I wonder why. Matter. Yes, I do have a lot to say, but I don't want to use up my time now to speak on it. I have a little bit of matter that is a little bit more pressing at yeah. this time. That is yeah. very important. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. That is very, very yeah, important. Yes. But there's some more... Um, studying of this madness that has to go on to give a form and informed comment on it. But I'm really, really interested in my boy, Charon Dance, yeah. for sort of yeah. nonsensical yes. behavior. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that we should use this platform, like all other platforms, and call for his immediate recall. This cannot be the standard that Guyana has. This cannot be the type of person we have representing us at a country like India. I am a Hindu, mm -hmm. and what he did is disgraceful to Hindus in terms of his behavior. I am an East Indian Guyanese, and what he did does not represent how East Indian Guyanese behave, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. in our motherland, India, mm -hmm. as we would term it. Mm -hmm. And I am a Guyanese, and that does not define 
how Guyanese behave. His behavior is rude and crude, and his behavior does not warrant him still sitting as a representative of the people of this beautiful country. And I believe he should be recalled forthwith and should not be placed to represent this country at no level at all, because that is beyond what he did there is so reprehensible that it's beyond I don't beyond one thing. It's a poor woman, and I don't mean poor in the literal mm -hmm. meaning, but you look at it. Mm -hmm. A woman well dressed in her sari, mm -hmm. doing a noble thing, yeah. feeding the dogs, yep. inquiring about the dog, and this man carried on as though he is from a different planet. Yeah. And for, no and human behavior, no human decency. That is for those persons who might not have seen the video as yet. Um, because you might have been otherwise occupied. To give you a sense of what Danish is talking about, uh, that video that's circulating on social media of the engagement of our High Commissioner to India, Chandas Prasad, and an Indian national who had, was inquiring as Danish about a dog um, at the residence of the High Commissioner. Um, so still a, a verbal attack, like, unlike any other, uh, this is some of that. That is our High Commissioner to the largest democracy. I know, Sharon, I want to apologize to all the people of India for that behavior because I know that it deserves an apology. And as a right thinking Guyanese, as a right thinking person within this hemisphere, I know that that is not who we are. And I'm so sorry that they had to face that and go through that. But we cannot just apologize and hope that it stops there. Who knows what else he has done that has not come to yeah. light? Or well, what there are some officials have done. done that did not come to light. Right. This, right. this is something that happened since the 1st of August, August 2021. Yeah. Yeah. And you cannot tell me that the government of this country did not know about it. The fact that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation put out a statement Correct. saying that nothing is substantiated yeah. and that they consider this matter closed. A video is circulating. A video is circulating, and that person in the video, those who know Charandas Prasad, know that he is the person in that video. Yeah. Those who know or have, have heard him speak before know that that is his voice. And a video is circulating, and you're telling me as the ministry that you're going to say that this matter is closed. Yeah. Come on. Folks, let's take another look at that. This is not us, man. Let's, not us. let's take another look at that video and we, we brought it you on it so you understand the gravity of what our High Commissioner to India is involved in. And as Ganesh said, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs brought a statement just yesterday saying they, they have fully investigated this incident. Uh, by the, it was fully investigated by the relevant authorities and a formal response to the High Commission dated September 3rd, 2022 indicates that allegations of sexual abusive words to the complainant has not been substantiated. So all of that um, can be proved according to the ministry. Here is that video once more. No. What helpless? I don't, I don't need a dog in my yard. All right? No. You want a dog? Take it. Put it between your legs. No, you probably want the dog to fuck you. That's what you want. I don't care. I don't care who you are. I don't care who the hell you are. Fuck you. Yeah, they Listen to me. You're drunk. Don't let any woman come in my yard. Hello. You like the camera? Yeah, the, the Shadow Minister of Foreign Affairs, Amanda Walton Desire, uh, put out a statement just yesterday um, on this very vexing, very, very vexing issue. And that statement uh, reads thus 
that our foreign service personnel walks the, walk the footsteps of the likes of Sheila Ramphal and the late Rashley Jackson, who are regarded the world over as diplomats par excellence. It is therefore galling that we have plummeted to the depths of Prasad's most reprehensible behavior. The ministry's response makes it clear that such conduct is acceptable. It is not. It is not acceptable. Ganesh. Man, look, we have a minister of foreign affairs that doesn't even know what is diplomacy. We have a minister of foreign affairs that, remember the, 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 the big problem between Taiwan and, and China and Guyana and the U.S. Mm -hmm. and all of this thing that he was involved in? Correct. And the only foreign land he seems to believe he, he is in, whenever he travels, is Linden. It seems as though he goes nowhere else as minister of foreign affairs. So he believes that Linden is a completely... A uh, different country, and whenever he goes to Linden, he is doing his foreign diplomatic relations, relations yeah. and he's building diplomatic relationship with Linden. But listen to me, Charandas Prasad has to go. That is not Guyana. Mm. That behavior does not reflect Guyanese. And you know what is why I am, I am. It is more hurtful to me because India is regarded as a sacred land for Hindus. And when we have a representation there, we feel honored and privileged. You know, India has the famous Ganges River mm -hmm. where Hindus go to take their holy bath, just like Muslims would go to Mecca or, um, or Christians would go off to go to Jerusalem mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, Hindus find pleasure in knowing that they have a place in India. And we have a representative in India that is supposed to represent us as Guyanese Hindus. Mm -hmm. So it is it is touching to me. As an East Indian Guyanese, it is touching to me too. Because as an East Indian Guyanese, I love I I embrace my culture as Africans will rightly so embrace Africa and um, their motherland and um, Indians will embrace their culture, their their motherland and so on. As an East Indian I have to embrace my own which is India. And as a Hindu East Indian Guyanese, that is not who I am. That is not who all other Guyanese Hindu East Indians yeah. are. Yeah. And on that basis, we cannot have that kind of person sitting representing us. It is an embarrassment, it's a shame, and it reflects not only him, but the government he represents. Yeah. Yeah. And because they are standing strong and solid behind him, through the information and through the, the, the release the ministry put out, tells of them and yeah. who they are and the yeah. disrespect they have for the new East Indian Guyanese. But, but, and and Ganesh, that's a pattern that we continue to see. Uh, the fact that anybody could look at that and see that the, the sexual abusive words uh, that the woman complains about has not been substantiated tells about the quality of government. And you have a video. Yeah. There's a video evidence there. The, 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 the sexual abusive words, the tasteful, you know, state. has not been substantiated. One one is the same thing they said of O.C. Rogers, you know, the complaint of this woman. Look, 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 look. I remember Varshini Singh, who we thought was Varshini Jack Dio, making a series of allegations against Barrett Jack Dio. I remember Barry Ramsaran wanting to strip and slap. Charlene and Najir. Mm -hmm. I know of many other um, female persons making allegations again. Yeah. Calling the call, that's one um, guilty of assault. But calling the special being, because I remember it was Mark Benchcock walking around Georgetown playing that tape with Julius. Mm -hmm. Right? So he's, a, he's in a special category. Mm -hmm. And they treat him with great adoration. Yeah. Wow. Part of that to reach like that to get yeah. a part of the TV. Yeah. Then you got be a part of the Yes. Mm -hmm. Then you got O.C. Rogers and yeah. the video evidence yeah. they're showing him yeah. abusing a woman. Not substantiated, also. perhaps. Now you have this one here. What is it that is really happening? That is what Guyana is about. That cannot be no, us. But you know, I, I struggle to think, us. Ganesh. How does one party attract this quality of people? Is one party we talking about here? Well, I guess these kind of people have these kind of people have to have their zone. Jason Abdullah is another character. PPP is their zone. 
another culture one wonders you know at the at the at the at the, at the quality of leadership you know in a page one comment this this morning danish i know you have to run off the staff crew says that the choice of mr Prasad um from new delhi was a major mistake and his conduct in the video undermines this so underlines this the government of Guyana will now have the opportunity to make an appropriate appointment and it must offer an apology to the victim of his horrendous and obscene abuse. A further problem for the government is why Tukuba Lajis, his foreign affairs, had not acted earlier on this abomination. At some point after August 1st, 2021, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs had to have been notified of the video and the criminal complaint. Why did it not act immediately? Was there an attempt to cover up? What Mr. Prasad had done in the, in the misguided belief that it would never be revealed. But Cheryl, I want to say something. Uh, as a, and thank you for having me on the program. This will be my last comment here because I really have to run. But I'm seeing on Facebook that we have 855 mm -hmm. persons that are watching us and they're listening to us. And I want to say that they all have a role and a responsibility to play in this. I can make my statement and call for Charandas Prasad to be recalled on good grounds because I think the evidence is substantial enough to say that that is not who we are. Mm -hmm. You can do the same. Amanza Walton this year can do the same. Juretta Fernandez can do the same. Kathy Hughes, uh, Aubrey Norton, all of us, we can do that. But there are 865 people out there who are looking at us on Facebook alone. And I want to challenge you to use your facebook page and put hashtag charandas must go mm -hmm. charandas must go we cannot allow that to define us we can allow, cannot allow charandas's behavior to define who we are we are not that type of people and i'm calling on everyone out there who's looking at this program sharon to use their platform social media and otherwise and call for Charandas to go. He has to. That is not who we are. I'm sorry. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna make way for Danish to slip off. And Danish, we're so happy you said that. We're so very, very, very happy. I am happy that I was here and I will be here again. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Yes, you know, it's it's quite it's quite uh, for me as a as a woman and having having haven't had to deal with the people there. Shenanigans! And it's getting worse! Particularly it's getting worse, progressively worse, Rita. The abuse and nature of, of, of many of the members. It's getting progressively worse. It is, it is. It's absolutely crazy. We have to deal with a lot of national over and over. It's very fast for the market, for example, to be able to contact with the national and we had a dream um, that the issue with chronic crime and the first job of how we do have so many things that come to be uh, over and over. I think that it was not absolutely correct in his, um, with his comments here. I was just using China's most code. You cannot have somebody sitting in the level and actually, you know, and you have that is behavior and that person is carrying on, you know, the, I, I think that it was the most embarrassing situation that we ever found ourselves with when it comes to our relationship with India. And I think that uh, more important is that I do again share to hear all of yeah. the comments and the statements coming out from senior representatives of the PPP. Like this, they always find themselves going when these things happen. And, yeah. I don't get it. Like we, we are all up in arms, you know? Yeah. You know, I'm going to. Yes. It's it's, 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 it's it's very sad because, again, there is so much hypocrisy and lip service. You know, so much hypocrisy and lip service yeah. that's happening there. So much hypocrisy and lip service. Um, to these issues, we talk about gender-based violence, we talk about violence against women in all its forms. And of recent, the women in the PP have had so, so many opportunities to come out and to define themselves, but we don't see that happening at all. So many opportunities to come out and really truly define themselves on these issues. And then when it comes to 
those international days when you celebrate women, you know, uh, International Women's Day and such and so forth, you know. Sign, oh, yes. Sign, uh, sign oh, yes. card, you know. You know, stand up. You can, and you can see how it is. Stand up for women's rights. Stand up against violence. And then you have the opportunity. Like, and then they get people like Nigel Darmel, and they get people like yeah. and they put them up on their social media right. very proudly that right. they stand in defense of women. And you know, it, 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 it's like what Ghanish is saying, like we can we can talk about it all we want, but if yeah. people have to realize that they have to demand more from the representatives, at no point in time there is no other place, there's no other country yeah. and no other foreign fear the ministry that will defend such actions at no point in time. Guyana is the only place that will ever happen. And it just goes to show the level of national embarrassment. It has gone to the level of international embarrassment. Correct, correct. We are completely ashamed correct. of those behavior. We are the voices. We said it from the very beginning that we said he should not have been there. But you know what happened in here. I'm not even going to go through the wordings. You know what happened and you know why he went yeah. and yeah. he was sent. But it's a disrespect to India that yeah. you would send somebody like that here. Yeah. And you know, the truth would come and still try to argue a case for Charandas. Well, they, uh, they will still come and try to argue a case for Chad and Das and his I will haven't seen any case being made. They will still come. But folks, thanks for allowing us to um kind of fracture the big issue this yes. morning because we really wanted to get Ganesh thoughts mm -hmm. on this whole uh, embarrassing obscene as as Sabatus put it, situation involving our high commissioner to India. In, in any other country, he would have tended his designation. Anywhere else any other part of the world these matters are matters that the international community needs to step in with human rights women rights all of those bodies needs to be made aware the video needs to be officially sent to them yeah. with a letter yeah and they need to be making yeah. because at the point it is right now Guyana, Guyanese, we're speaking, we're condemning, but the government of Guyana doesn't seem to listen, don't seem to care about what the people think. They believe it's a badge of honor. That's how they operated those a badge of honor. For that, is why, that is why, that is why, Juja, you know, when, when, um, Ali comes along with his photo ups and so on, you, know, you have to ask him, what are we going to ask? Yeah. What are we going to ask Rogers? Mm. Right? These are growing um issues that in any other right thinking country action will be had look a uk prime minister this unreal economic plan you have some push back <laughs> boy johnson only had some parties during covid and so on right look the amount of infraction these folks had against their own regulations against their own policies with covid mm. but that's the kind of country and you know folks we are the pot and we go up, you know, and nobody taking notice. We need going up and nobody taking notice. Well, let it not be right? situation like this is not wrong. you know, in, in the case where that assault was alleged with Tabata and um and Kwame, they said, Oh they, they, they said, I'm saying from the standpoint, they said, We have a video. Gotcha. Yeah. Right? The video didn't show anything. So mm -hmm. we didn't see a video, so it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Yeah. But you got video now. Yeah. Oh, see Rogers. We got video trying to ask that. Now they say it's not substantiated. A man telling a woman you can put it down between your legs like you wanted that. The commission of the, the high commission of a country on the job. And you're saying uh, the abuse of sexual abuse words is not substantiated. What you got? Like I hear it. Sure, you know. When you when you think when you think people are happy, when you see people do certain things, when you think they move far and live happy, the deeds make them happy. Yes. And I want people to continue because it's the same thing that drove them from office in twenty I want them to continue and they seem to have been they seem to be galloping to this decadence and decay, this filth and obscenity. They gallop in the I want to continue on the road. You know, I saw I, I see I, I saw some photos on social media. I, I'm gonna say it was nice for that. He went to Carol. I messaged my cousin there. And I said, I don't want him around my female cousins. 
when you get to a level that you understand that you need to protect people from the representatives that are placed yeah. in the office to, yeah. to yeah. actually do yeah. good things on their behalf. It, yeah. It's a very sad thing. But I make no apologies for that because it's like with everything that he has shown me himself at the level of the National Assembly, yeah. if his conduct in the level of the National Assembly is like that in all of them, if Charnas's conduct, as we all saw it, was the way it was, then you understand what happens behind closed door. You understand what happens when the cameras are turned yeah. off. Yeah. Right? If they operate in a certain way, if Nigel Damrat could stand at the podium in the National Assembly and said, you need a deal, though, right? What is he saying when the cameras are not rolling? What, what is he doing when the cameras yes. are not rolling? Well, we know because we've seen the photographs. He saw the, the camera rolling yeah. in that video. He yeah. saw someone, and that didn't stop him no, no, no. from saying the most nasty, bulk of vile things towards a woman. He is not even in his own country. Yeah. He is the in country. disrespect yeah. man. And I think I call on the Indian government to request that he be moved from there. How do you let someone come into your country and disrespect your people like that? Absolute madness. Like I look at our videos and I could not believe it. I could not believe it. And then for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to say that you touched the resign. Yeah. I mean, no, India has a lot of problems that they're trying to overcome with the treatment of women. So this doesn't argue well. You touched on yeah. resign for yeah. example. You didn't see nothing. A statement like that. Really you didn't see nothing. Yeah. You said well. the sexual, the sexual abusive um was have not been substantiated because. At no amount of time, Jesus. you should believe that the money that you're getting from these people and from your position. Is more more than your but country. not only them, only you all John as a woman. Resign. You know, not only you child, because this should be reprehensible to to uh only you all John. But then she's she's a liar, so that might be the currency with her. Pray Malik Chan, you know, um Sonia Parag, who's the other one? Um Susan Rodriguez, these are women in the PPP. And if you can stand by and see it. This last bit here mm. said what will substantiate me. You know how shameful is that? If the PPP, if the PPP was not in government and that was Charnas representing the coalition as a commissioner in India, they would have created havoc because they would believe it is the most ridiculous thing ever you would have heard every single statement every single temple in this temple in this country probably would have put out the statement i hold no apologies to what i'm saying you're absolutely right you're absolutely right the lines will change like the uh pnc people's national congress reform uh political statement yesterday that says why most of our diplomats serve a distinction there are a few political appointees who bring nothing but disgrace to our country Charnas Prasad should be called the European grounds of conduct and becoming of an ambassador and an apology is to the government and people of India. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. It is nothing short of madness, Charita. Madness that a government can utter the words, we need nothing to substantiate sexual abusive language. So this is how they communicate. You, know, you can imagine any tablet. You know, somebody can say to Orange, Orange, why don't wait your whole? Yeah. Why don't you take a dog on? You know? Mm. So, you know, what do you mean? I can see that. Uh, so, you know, that's what you really need over, sir. My God. Since nothing, nothing shameful about that, they don't find out to substantiate sexual abusive language. And these people come around your door and say, Right? Teachers will chant during a protest. Somebody added music to it. Right? And it was reported on my Facebook page. And the sensibilities. Mm. I woke up. Of the PP, Matt Phillips, Reverend Pat Shelton, the Roman Army of the PP, Gail Teixeira, um, Vinny Prasad, the hypocrite, and a whole slew of them. Mark Phillips. Teachers, we're the chant. Well, some a chant of Wild Hog. Somebody added me with it. It was reposted on my Facebook page. And that offended the PP. Letters, red point, and center. Shut up. It offended them after they were the ones that posted it on their Facebook page when Nicolette yeah. 
was in the office. Yeah. Same time. Before. Same time. But now we got all this on a video, and then people say, we see nothing to substantiate sexual abusive language. You know, and them folks, but I can understand. I can understand now differently. Why do they feel so fronted by what? I mean, not this about certain kinds of music, not artists. Mm -hmm. Certain the quality of certain kinds of music. I can understand. You don't understand. Do you because understand? if they don't find this offensive, then. <laughs> the certain vice president said he wants to, he, you know, somebody should be yeah. more should get the spice treatment. Yeah. He should jump on. Yeah, he wants to see spice in that head. Yeah. You understand what we're dealing with? Acceptable. You understand what we're dealing with? I, that is I understand. Thinking that he wants to see spice on no. Yeah. Like yeah. That that's that's the men like. Yeah. If this is if if these representatives defines the entire people, we gone. I'm telling you that this country, we gone. you know, we have we gone. We've lost it. And last week, the Caribbean Court said of the Attorney General, he's brought the entire administration of justice of the court in the disrepute. Right? That is part of the um the quality of minister we have in the local government, Minister Nigel Gamble, and you spoke a little bit more ab about him. Uh, here are some of the things that have been happening in local government, and you understand why yeah. you know, nothing is done. Absolutely nothing is done. I'm just going to pick out a couple of them. All right? Just going to pick, up a couple, pick out a couple of them. An officer at Region 2. In Region 2, I want to make sure I get the region right. Just walk off with a million dollars that was salary and so on. He just, he just missed it. That never happened to me. See? That never happened to you. That never become me. Just mistake in the pool. And the region democratic council level there. Right? This is region, region 9. The, the, and the, the district development officer. Mm -hmm. You know, a contractor to the Ministry of um, Ambulance Affairs. He just gambled out 1.7 million of the government money, taxpayers money. That he got. He that said with love, it was a school project. The biggest question is how he got the money for it. 1.7 million, he just gambled it out. That never happened to me. Carl Singh, Region 5, he shot a woman. He shot a, a woman. When I spoke to that woman's mother, she said that will move into her intestines mm -hmm. because of the damage that was done, and she can be um will have to pay him for a long time. Mm -hmm. Right? Do you have to say I will pay you? But you understand why I will pay you terrible before you even go forward. You understand why that matter isn't even going forward. If at the level of government, at the level of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, you are seeing effort yes. to cover up and yeah. make excuses and to defend yeah. some actions as such, then what does it say to the ordinary dying about yeah. when these offensive things come your way, when these criminal actions befall you and your family? What are what are, what are you saying as a government and in the city that we will protect these offenders, we will protect these abusers, and you should not say anything, you should just shut up because you have no voice when it comes to representation, particularly yeah. when it comes to disrespect yeah. towards Correct. America. Correct. And you know, sometimes you gotta connect the dots. Imagine a, a, a company like Rams Logistics, foreign company come here trying to do business and compete equally, and they hear the CEO said they got dark forces mm. in the private sector trying to keep them out. I'm glad it's wrong saying it. Listen, I'm glad it's wrong saying it. You know, I, I have to say that uh, the situation with ranks, I honestly... I honestly thought that it would have gotten a little better by now, but Rams is playing those games. Mm -hmm. Rams is saying that mm -hmm. they're in the right with everything that they did, that they submitted X, Y, Z. They don't understand these people. And I said it before, you have to understand the evils that you're yeah. dealing with in order to deal with them. Every single time we come out here and we have conversations, we have to acknowledge and understand the evils that we're dealing with. That they have of course and they're looking for you to just slip a word and then they're gonna go oh, yes you got them with this and you have to be so careful with everything we are dealing with a group of people that are structuring themselves for for a situation that for yeah. the country to be in a situation 
of total dictatorial yeah. leadership. That's what we're looking at yeah. right now. They will eliminate at whatever cost necessary anyone that stands up and tries to raise their voice yeah. against them. And yeah. everybody needs to understand that and if you don't fight it, if you continue to be all lovey dovey and smoochy smoochy with these people, you are sucking yourself in the situation and you will not even be able to have a voice to represent your own self and your family. Because listen to me, you can hug up and take the photographs with them. Now I can assure you that they don't give a damn about how you and your family Correct. survive. Correct. If assault and sexually offensive language is meted out to you, they will not go and defend you because they don't see anything wrong with that. So when you get in all lovey-dovey and smoochy smoochy, Remember those things. Remember what you how cheap you are selling yeah. yourself. Correct. You have to stand for something as a people. You have to stand on a position of principle. You don't get to go out there and critique and critique and critique when it comes to oh, I couldn't get the picture, I couldn't get the hug, but you're not looking at it from a standpoint of cost of living. When it mm -hmm. comes to inflation, it was 0 0.9. Mm -hmm. You're not looking at it from a position of we had equitable distribution of resources. You're not looking at it from a position of we had consistent increases in wages and salaries. But Correct. Here, you want to go out there and you want to talk about getting a hog. I don't know if a hog feeds you at the yeah. end of the day, but the last I checked, a hog feeds you. Well, you know what? The folks are saying today, they, they, they don't want hogs. They don't you know? want hogs. They want to be real corruption. I'm, I'm more of us going like that. Oh my God. Take a stand. I'm super proud of They want to be real, real corruption. I'm super proud and let's of take a look at them taking a stand. They, fed up. they want to have a photograph. They want good governance. They want good governance. If they come with some hugs and photographs, fair enough. But they want good governance. The folks of Santa Rosa, the village council meeting, they've been fighting with the council there to come for the monies. And they want to know where the money gone and millions missing from the council. The folks taking a stand, they want hugs. Hmm. They want friends. And they want things to go right. Thank you, Rosa. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, they also come to understand sometimes you got to speak through the power. They the understand the power of their voices. Yeah. They understand the power of their voices to actually take that stand. How long do you just sit down and accept yeah. all the corruption that the people be basically in power, that the people be supported, that the people be cover up? That, yeah. That's what it is. Correct as well. Correct as right, rather. Mm -hmm. Very well. I think that's going to do it for us at this time. Yeah, I'm super proud yeah. of Santa Rosa. I'm yeah. super proud of them. And in that same yep. light in which you see the people of Santa Rosa standing up and having their voice heard and expressing that they want that individual to step down. That's what you're saying, step down. Yep. All right. In that same light, you, the people, need to demand that Charles Kassar steps down, like he is removed, rather, because he has no moral decency to step down. Now, that's just yeah. from that position. Yeah, and we know that. Moral decency. He can immorally get a compass. Right? He will not do that. He needs to be removed. The government of Vienna needs to withdraw that statement. You thought should apologize to women. You thought should apologize to India, particularly that woman. For you don't understand that apologizing to yourself. That's what you get started from. Apologizing to yourself. You got no self respect. Stand That's number one. Something, for God's sake. Yeah. Stand for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to have had so many of you join us this morning. Uh, Brenda Brock within Fitz Colorado, guys. You made a difference. You made a difference. And we, we uh, found out that the problem affected us last evening. 
with the audience and parts of a program on Facebook. Mm. I was not our issue because we were going through quite clearly to YouTube. It was Facebook having a problem. And somebody remarked to me that my friendship was program last and had the same issues. Them boys! They're walking. They're walking. They're walking. They're walking. We know what places are. Right. Glenn from Garden to see you and we know Cummins. We know Davis well and all the other folks who are joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. Have a great morning. Have a great day. We will see you guys back here at 12. You know that? And then be back at 8. Have a good day, guys. Have a fantastic, fantastic day. Fantastic day. Yes. Wonderful folks out there. I yes. All of you. Candy's here. <laughs> oh, scraps. <laughs> you come, Joe. Very late. Clear, Nexus. I don't know. Charming. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. 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 Basil Clark is there showing you the the actual. Uh, yeah, yeah. We got you. That's already Basil. <laughs> <laughs> Basil. 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 Basil.